A collector out of Southern California reached out to me a few months ago with a story about a broken stock on a Winchester Model 1892. He had purchased the gun at auction and when it arrived, the shipping box was damaged and when he opened it up, so was the buttstock of the rifle. Now any conversations about the shipper's responsibilities or any claims against them aside, the collector ended up with the rifle and wanted to know if there were any options, including, including anything I could do to repair it. And after the evaluation with certain conditions understood, I agreed to try and fix the gun stock. So in the next 15 minutes of the video, I'll show you the work that I did, share with you some of the story of this gun that I uncovered during the repair, and then I'll show you how I fix it all. In the end, the customer's expectation was to get the gun stock back, so it retained as much of its original story as possible, while looking like a well-used but well-cared-for rifle. And I think I accomplished that, so stay to the end of the video for the reveal. One of the things we discovered early on was that the gun stock had been broken, sometimes earlier in its history. And I'll show you more evidence of that as we go through the repair. But for this scene, both old finish stain and some oils had creeped down in between the two halves of the earlier break. I needed to clean as much of that residue out before attempting to glue the two halves back together again. Here I'm using a mild stripper followed by an acetone wash. I'm not clear as to what kind of glue was used fixing this earlier break, but it had crystallized into the wood structure and I needed to get as much of it out as I could. No magic here, just old fashioned tedious work using a dental pick. So here's another piece of evidence of the earlier break. Whoever had done the repair had incorporated a wood cross dowel to help give shear resistance between the two halves. Pretty slick and tough to pull off. I'm using epoxy and not glue for the repair. Epoxy is strong, has very little creep, and should hold the two halves in a more stable relationship over time. I'm adding a colored pigment to the epoxy to mimic the color of the grain because I know that part of the brake line will show. This will make it easier to reduce the visibility of the repair later in finishing. Just a light squeeze. Epoxy doesn't like high pressures like wood glue. The alcohol removes any squeeze out. And the duct tape is a perfect plan. evidence of a prior break. If you look closely at the end of the stock where it mates to the receiver, the ear on my thumb side is completely missing. The first repair was done, it appears as though that ear was never replaced. Without the ear, only half of the stock recessed into the receiver. Those ears are what keeps the side panels from spreading away from the metal. I believe that during shipping some side load was placed on the gun stock and without the extra support of those ears, the panel split from the receiver.
Here I'm using chalk to highlight any interference. I'll remove any high spots shown by the chalk and continue to do so until the original wood and the new insert exactly made up for the best bond with the epoxy. If you've ever watched any of my other videos, I've shown and explained how I fit metal to wood, and I'll post the link above. This is my own 92 that I'm using to fit the customer's stock. They're all the same.
Super glue mixed with sawdust makes a great repair filler. It dries hard and the color closely matches the surrounding wood. You just need to be patient with it. So if you enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you get notified the next time I post a video. Thanks for watching.